going to say is that this video better get a lot of likes. Because I'm going to show you guys how to dodge Raid Train. Raid Trains, I would argue, are some of the most annoying things if you don't know how to rage if you don't know how to um, dodge them because they drain all your rage and if you're using a hunter it's gonna die um a hunter without rage is like a fish out of water uh it dies pretty quickly if it's not op in relation to the base that you're attacking so this will make my base and a lot of other people's bases a little bit less dangerous that is why I'm saying this better get a lot of likes or else I'm <clears throat> taking it down. So, like the video. Alright. That's one of the very few videos that I say that. But this, I mean, yeah. Like, if, if it helps you. If it doesn't help you, then don't like it. But, anyway. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, everyone? Uh, welcome. Now, I know for those who are new to the channel. Or, sorry, not new to the channel. But have been at the channel for a long time. You might remember when I was like back in the old days I was like man it's impossible to dodge raid trains all right I know I know you guys are thinking right now in your in your little heads but, but Odin, you said it, it can't do it how, how are you dodging a raid train if you said it's impossible I know I know I used to say that was impossible the reason why is because nobody ever dodged it well guess what it is possible and it is very easy but just but people just don't do it so I'm gonna show you how to do that um, so hopefully this helps you guys out in wars especially if you do this people will be impressed It will definitely change the way that you can fly um, Because you can do this. I mean if you're able to practice a little bit And you get this bit down and you can do it every single time. I'm pretty good at it I can I would say that nine times out of ten I can dodge it um, You can you'll be very very good at in wars for sure and people will be impressed But anyway guys, hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video Peace out, guys. Dodge a rage train. There's two or three reasons why it fails. Either they don't study the base beforehand, so they don't know where the blue mages are. And you have to be ready to kill the blue mages specifically, or else it won't work. Two, they either wait until the last minute to shoot, or they don't shoot while turning, which you can do, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Or three, they accidentally miss a tower and it, the blue mage prevents them from cloaking in time to dodge it and you end up having to swap immediately. This is what happens to almost every single player that ever gets to a rage train in this game. Okay, so how to do it the right way. The biggest thing that will make the biggest difference for you is to shoot while turning. You'll notice, and I'll put it in slow motion as we get closer to the island. But you'll see that I don't wait until the last minute to shoot. I start shooting the blue mage in the corner as I am turning it. So you can see that even while I'm turning, I start hitting those towers. And allows me another thing to remember is to always study the base, especially if you're in war. If you're not in a rush, make sure that you know where those blue mages are. Because you can get into a position where you don't remember what placement they are. So when you're turning and you're tapping, you need to know that placement so you can aim as you're turning. If you don't and you're just guessing, I trust me when I say it, it's happened to me before as well, you're gonna mess up, you're gonna accidentally leave a tower that you didn't mean to, like you can see on the screen right now, and you get rage drained. It's very easy to mess up when all that has to be left is one blue mage. Shooting as early as possible allows you to have more time to kill the towers and allow the game to process that information so it will allow you to cloak. Instead of waiting until last minute like right here and you can see the difference now that there was no time to hit cloak Before all those super shots started to hit Because I waited until the last minute that is the difference So that's how to dodge a raid train and like I said that's not just with cloak But that's also with flash as you can see on Ibreen and um, I believe Luma Lumina and Mafic have it. It works also with Neptus and his Riptide, as you can see on the screen right here. It works with Desipate on Xenot. Really, just any spell that allows you to cloak in some way will allow you to do this. Some people forge cloak in the forge, and that allows them to blink no matter what dragon they're using. 
you have a lot of options. Doing this allows you to retain your rage and it's a lot more effective. It helps you stay in the game competitively a lot more so than allowing yourself to get rage trained and you have no rage and die immediately. Especially if you're using hunters because they rely on that rage. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, again, I was kind of messing around at the beginning of the video, but seriously though, this will really change the game if you don't know how to do it already. Um, I promise you that it changed the way that I was able to fly. Having even just just the five rage to start out with allows you to do so much more in this game. And if you don't know how to do that, unfortunately, it's going to re be really difficult for you to fly hunters and wars and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. I have a really special one coming out later today, so thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one.